The decomposition of hydrogen peroxide is represented by this equation. The first question is the forward reaction, the decomposition of peroxide, exothermic or endothermic? The answer is exothermic. The convention is a negative sign in front of the heat value for delta H corresponds to an exothermic reaction. And conversely, a positive sign in front of the heat value for delta H would be an endothermic reaction. A second question that could be asked about this reaction is how many grams of hydrogen peroxide would have to react to produce 30.3 kilojoules of heat energy? The first step is to use the chemical equation to relate the amount of energy to the moles of hydrogen peroxide needed. You could set this up using dimensional analysis using the proportion in the equation two moles of hydrogen peroxide for every 196 kilojoules of heat. You'll come up with 0 0.306 moles of hydrogen peroxide. And the second step would be to convert the moles of hydrogen peroxide to grams of hydrogen peroxide. Similar questions can be asked for another chemical reaction. Like before, the delta H value is negative 905 kilojoules. Therefore, the reaction is exothermic. A second question can be asked. How many kilojoules are transferred if 5.55 grams of ammonia react? First, convert the 5.55 grams to moles to get 0.326 moles of ammonia. Then use the chemical equation to get the proportion of 905 kilojoules per 4 moles of ammonia. Set it up using dimensional analysis and you'll get negative 73.8 kilojoules of heat.